Alrighty then, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Animal Crossing 365 Day Playthrough. My name is Luna, we're playing Wild World. I play this game every single day until I die. How is everyone doing? Ah, <sighs> okay. So I've been thinking very hard about me explaining Beyond the Boundary. I'm sure some of you probably seen it and have no interest in it, but I want to fucking explain it. I want to give it something. Alright, Beyond the Boundary is an anime. That was, that is airing, that aired into the fall. Uh, that aired in the fall. I'm already fucking up. That airs in the fall. Uh, it's a fall anime. Uh, it's based off a light novel that only has three, uh, three, I guess you say books in it? I, I don't really know it's three books within the series. I don't know how to explain light novels, because I know you get, like, a, like, a couple chapters, and then you get a new book. It's kind of like manga, except writing. Light novels are kind of iffy. They're, like, they're the in thing now. And, uh, when it comes to making anime. Alright, so, light novels, you got the wonderful light novels, alright, they're, they're, uh, they're adapted from that. The anime is a, uh, suspense, mood, kind of bender story of, you don't know what's going on, and you gotta listen, you gotta, uh, focus a little bit on everything that's going on, so, suspense, kind of, maybe a mystery thrown in it, it, like, this anime has a lot of genres smashed into one, and the tone of the anime, definitely if you look at the pictures of it, it looks like it's gonna be the cutesy, you know... Ah, uh, look at me! Look at all these filler episodes of us in bikinis, where I believe there's only, like, one-ish filler episode, and it was kind of humorous when you kind of think about it. You kind of get to see everyone naked, and I believe that was only one. But everything's pertinent to the story somewhat, I believe! Um... So you got your wonderful suspense, you got your mystery, you got your action, which definitely this anime has a lot of action. You got, uh, and pretty much the story, if I could possibly cover up what the story is in, you know, like a couple sentences or maybe in one sentence or in a nice big long statement, uh, pretty much what I could say the story is, it follows two characters, right? There's two characters where it dances around, and what it dances around is, um, I can't say it because recently they kind of, you know, showed the reasonings behind some things. But um, throughout the whole series, uh, it's going to make you think one thing where, you know, there's this random girl who has no friend. She's part of this cursed clan because uh, I believe they're called warriors. They're, they're some sort of warriors. I don't know what kind of warriors they are, but the they call it, they're warriors. And these warriors can see Yonbu, which are these other creatures other than humans. And uh, they explain it like there are Yon there are bad Yonmu and there's good Yonmu. There's Yonmu who actually sell other Yonmu soul gems or uh, core gems or whatever they are. These gems, you could sell them, you sell them to some society that keeps that monitors everything. And why do they want those? And uh, then you kind of end up inadvertently learning why they want those uh, gems and all that wonderful stuff. But, alright. It follows two people. Their relationship. Their relationship spearheads everything. Uh, you can view it as a love. You can view it as a friend. You can view it as admiration. Uh, obviously, there's some humor thrown in it with it. Like a lot of night novels. And uh, it follows the relationship and the hardship that they reach near the end of it. And uh, pretty much what you get uh, before... Episode 10, episode 10, the one that breaks everything open. Um, you get this person caring and not wanting to, you know, like the typical not wanting to have someone care about them kind of thing. And he ended up learning uh, a legit reason why they were not supposed to care about this person. And it follows uh, someone who's half human and half Yonmu. Uh, I believe I'm saying it right. It's Y O N M U, I believe. Um, some of the monsters are interesting. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he has some special stuff, uh, dealing with him where you end up learning a whole bunch of stuff about him, so... Uh, that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. I know I'm being very vague on it, I could... Uh, believe me, I could talk for, like, a whole, you know, ten minutes about that, but I don't want to spoil it. Ah, uh, but, there. I, I wasted, like, a whole four minutes doing it, and we got snow, and we got these wonderful little things right here called snowballs, 
And I love doing the snowballs because they're so good. Why am I watering everything? I've already watered everything. I was watering everything because I was talking about everything. Alright, so we got the wonderful... I'm gonna make a snowman. I'm gonna make a snowman every single day, people. Every single day. I'm no, I know some of you are probably, like, slapping your face or, you know, beating the fuck out of your face. You're like, Luna, I don't care about the anime. Why are you talking about this? It really bothered me yesterday that I couldn't really explain it. Now, I possibly did dance around a couple things that I didn't explain it too well, but that's pretty much what it is. You gotta watch it to be able to know it. Uh, usually, hearing other people's opinions upon it uh, does, you know, give you the drive to watch it, but definitely viewing your own thing, uh, having your own opinion about it and viewing it by yourself, definitely is preferable. Alright, so we got one in the square. I gotta possibly pick up these things. I don't know if they uh, take snow when they're in, uh, when they're rolling off this. So this kind of hinders my snowball making ability. Alright, we got one here. Alright. Alright, let's see. Looks like this links possibly. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, we're gonna roll this up. We're gonna roll this around a bit. Until we are able to put our hands on it. Careful, not the... If you've never made a snowman before, uh, <laughs> don't smash it into the trees, please. Uh, that's... That's bad, okay? That's bad. And don't roll into the ground. You roll into the ground, it gets, uh, whatchamacallit. It gets smaller. But rolling... I don't know if what happens, you roll it into the, uh... You know, your tiles, your pat, your, uh, you know, your clothing tiles. Because when you walk on this, let's see, hold on. If I run, I believe you could, yeah, you, if I run, you could see snow being kicked up. But, um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't want to test it yet. I want to test it as soon as I'm able to grab a hold of it. After a while, it'll be able to grab a hold of it. Yep, grabbing a hold of it. All right, let's see. Let me put this away. I know it doesn't really mean anything, but, uh... No other way, but I, I had a weird dream. Alright, so this weird dream, pretty much, uh, I guess it was kind of like a clanid dream, but I'm not really having dreams about clanid, I guess you could say. Uh, it's, let me use that as an example for people. <laughs> it, it was a clanid dream. Uh, it was a visual novel kind of dream. I, I, I guess I could say it like that. So I was having a dream of, like, visual novel girls. <laughs> And they were meant for me, and I could choose, and I had, like, this, you know, this paper telling me what their names are, but it was blanked out with, like, their personalities and all that sort of stuff, and I saw them around the table. And it was kind of weird, because it, it, it dealt with that. Let's see, is it getting smaller? I don't know if it's getting smaller. Does it protect it? Does it look like it's getting smaller? It doesn't appear to be. It looks like it protects it a little bit. Um, but... Yeah, and pretty much that was happening. Let's see, if there's any areas right here that I can pick up. Let's see if I could pick these up. Possibly give me a little bit more uh, space when it comes to this. <coughs> I could roll back and forth in this area. And pretty much, I, I guess I had to choose the girls. There was one girl. Uh, I believe she had the name of the girl from Beyond the Boundary. Mi Miari? I believe that's her name. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, I always pronounce it wrong and I get yelled at, so... Uh, with the person I want to be on the boundary with, so <laughs> like okay, I guess I, I, I guess I'll, I'll stop. I get yelled at. I get corrected all the time by this person too. They're, they're so, they're so good at correcting me, and I hate it. But yet, it's awesome. Anyway, and then um, what ends up at? I guess I can kind of can. Can I create a snowman with those people around there? I doubt I can. I don't think I can. All right, that one's finished. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna need to roll this up, roll this one up, at least half, uh, at least half the other height of the other one. If I do that, I'll be good. I'm starting to get a ticklish, but the dream pretty much, yeah, those girls were there, my grandma was there, uh, my family was there, and then I had to go to the bathroom, and I went to the bathroom, and I couldn't stop pee. And pretty much that was the whole dream people leaving me and all this stuff and I felt depressed because people were leaving me it kind of reminds me of how I was when I was a teenager when people used to leave me all the time not like relationships but like in friendships I guess it though I kind of use relationships uh, dating and friendships and kind of like the same little thing of relationships but uh 
yeah, that was happening, and I was like getting sad. I was like, why is everyone leaving me? I just, I was just going to the bathroom. <laughs> It doesn't seem to destroy the flowers, so I'm okay with that. And my uh, furnace just turned on, so that's not very good. Let's see. Have, having, ti having tiles everywhere definitely makes this a little bit harder. Let's see. Nope. Uh, oh, and and yeah, that was pretty much was the whole dream, and the one that I really like, which she had like brown hair and stuff, glasses, all that wonderful stuff. Hmm, kind of reminds me of someone. And um. Yeah, and pretty much she said she waited for me, all that stuff that she's gonna wait for me. And it was adorable. But the whole the whole movie where like people are like, Get the fuck out the bathroom The whole movie. The whole dream where like, get the fuck out the bathroom, all this stuff while I'm going to the bathroom, I'm like, No, please <laughs> No please keep let, let me go. And like the whole movie I was just peeing myself and I woke up uh, I was like, Oh god. I hope I didn't have a wet dream. So I went to go. So I woke up and I checked myself, and I didn't have a wet dream. So I was like, "Oh, thank God, thank God," because that that would have been embarrassing. So I, ble oh no, by Jack Frost's beer. L, look at me, look at me, I'm perfect. Body round but not fat. Head cleverly balanced. Snow cold and sticky. And my face, oh, this face. It's a truly a work of art. You little flake are a f genius! I shall hereby dub thee the Snowman Master. And there you go, we got a wonderful snowman. Uh, you're kinda in the way, but I guess that's cool. This kinda makes a circle thing around it anyway. <laughs> that's all I wanted to do today is make a snowman. I love making the snowmen because they're so funny and silly. Uh, it was a little harder. Uh, whatever. Who knows, I may be kicking up the length of the episodes pretty soon. Uh, possibly not today. Maybe today, I'm not exactly sure. We'll see. I may be kicking up the episode's legs to 20 minutes now. So you guys can be looking forward to that. Hopefully, if I have anything to say. I, I believe there's... <gasps> oh, right here. I changed this up. Uh, I'm going to be putting special flowers here. And hopefully they don't die, but, you know, I'm putting them here because they look nicer. We have nice little special flowers. All the special flowers within my area. My land. Let's see, let's talk to Kerpow, who's wearing a dress. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Alright. Yo, what's up, uh, sport? You chilling or what, Kerpow? I'm so pumped today, I'm just gonna practice karate till I'm sick. By the way, Kerpow, what's going on with you today? I'm bored. Oh. Killer timing. Listen, it's about my belt. I'm always crashing into that thing when I'm working out, so I'll give it to you. Thanks. Oh, crud. I forgot to bring it, Kerpout. Sorry, totally weak. I know, well, maybe next time. Now, I was actually looking up holidays to see if there was a, you know, a Animal Crossing. Yeah, that already came. An Animal Crossing, um... Christmas Day, you know, I believe it's called Toy Day. Uh, it's Toy Day, I believe, in the GameCube version and City Folk and New Leaf. I believe that, though, they're there. And this version of the game, it doesn't have it. And that's kinda, that, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It's, oh yeah, I got a big festive tree! I forgot to show you guys that. I got a new one that's gonna replace the one in my, uh, house. An even bigger one. Why not? <sighs> Alright. A star is a great place to be. It's really come a long way. That's right. I believe possibly this is the longest I've ever had Perfect Town. I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, Perfect Town's on its way. I believe I had to say something. I wanted to say something. Yeah, my dreams are weird. I, I, know, I know they are. Uh, is there anything else regarding... Hmm. Oh, yes. Wish. I wanted you guys to make a wish upon a star. No matter who you are, poo -poo 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 heart's desire, they'll just come true. Alright, you guys ready? On the count of three, on the three count. Once I say three, I'm blowing it, alright? Alright, here we go. Make a wish, people. You ready for the make a wish? One, two, three. Did you make a wish? If you did it, Fuck you, then! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm just thinking of Kevin Hart. Alright, let's see. I should throw on my hat now, since it is uh, weather outside. The weather outside is frightful. 
but the fire is so delightful. Oh no, I may get a content ID match if I start singing music. Oh my god, the content ID matches on YouTube are ridiculous. They're happening they're happening to everyone. Some sometimes people's whole playthrough are being taken over by content ID matches. Uh, and it's ridiculous. And it's like game in the music. Like for Clanid, all my Clanid videos. Uh, almost every single one I'm posting, they, they're getting uh, cotton ID matches due to the reason, um, the, the, the music that's used in there. And it's annoying. It's so annoying, people. You have absolutely no idea how annoying it is because it's, it's, it's messing with the way I make money. And definitely, I was looking very good at this year because my views have increased by 50%. Uh, so, actually it would be 100%. My views have increased by 100%, so, you know, I would be able to buy that computer and be able to do different games and stuff. Yeah, I am kind of looking forward to that, and if I get a bigger paycheck this time around because of that, yeah, I kind of want that. I kind of don't want them taking over my, uh, channel. And not allow me to make money off my videos because of music that's used in the game, which I believe it's all good once you're under. I believe it's all good under the fair use when it comes to that. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Excuse me, but I've been uh, disputing them. I've only gotten two, and they're only for Clan, and I haven't gotten for Animal Crossing or anything like that. Uh, and I don't know if I, I don't know if I mentioned before. Then, uh, I'm actually collecting all the cedar plants so I could go uh, plant them. Uh, let's see, where are they? They're right here. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. So I could go plant them. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can tell, I've been collecting them since the sixth day within the perfect town. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, that's not very good. You know, I usually don't worry about making money on money money on a video. Like if it gets a copyright strike, you know, we'll get copyright strike by like not a copy uh, to be a copyright notice. Copyright strikes is what I got with Katwa showed you. All right, that actually hurts my channel. Co uh, copyright notices are things everyone get gets like ID matches. Like if you guys use like songs. Let, let's say you use a song by Jay-Z or something like that, or Beyonce, or, you know, The Who, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And, um... Oh, I forgot to put on my hat. forgot to grab that. But, yeah, you, you use the song from one of those people, and then, uh, you know, you get a content ID matches. Now, it would block some things. It may block it in Germany. Uh, YouTube fucks everyone in Germany. Every time I get a block, it's like, I get a block in Germany, which is good, because I do have a viewer base in Germany. At least that's what the statistics tell me every once in a while. But, uh, I'm like, okay, no, uh, re-upload the video, all that wonderful stuff. You guys remember the 500, uh, episode, not the 500 episode, the 500, uh, goodness, what is it? The 500, what is it called? The... My 500 subscriber special where I did dance, where I danced, uh, with my family. Uh, it was around Christmas, I think, where I got the 500 January, uh, 500, uh, subscribers. Uh, this Jan- excuse me, this January. And I believe in February, or April, I got a thousand, and then in June, I got another thousand. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm- I'm- I was I was rising up pretty fast because of Katwa Shoujo, so you know even a game that I I I ended up hating afterwards because like people would only watch Katwa Shoujo and everything on my channel would be dead for a while. Like Animal Crossing only got like ten to five views. Like it wasn't it wasn't really good. I felt like I was like why was I playing? Pretty much what I was feeling was like why am I playing these other games if no one's ever watching? Them? Like should I just play this? And just go for the money, which I didn't. I didn't. But I will be uploading Pokemon and Clanet. I mean, Pokemon. Ah, God damn it! I will be uploading Pokemon and Animal Crossing normally. It's just that I'm not going to be uploading any Clanet. Just, just for the fact that they make just all the views that I get on there. They just take all the money. There you go. It's mine now. Which I don't want to deal with. Definitely. Uh. 
But, uh, I guess I'll wait a while. I'll wait after a week. Some big YouTubers are doing that, uh... <coughs> doing that strike thing and hopefully get attention from people. So, that's pretty good. Try to help the little guy out. Some people, you know, have a lot of videos. Some people's whole playthroughs are done. Like, definitely if you do Grand Theft Auto V, I know it's a given. Uh, you have the radio on. You'll have your... The, the whole playthrough owned by music people. Yeah, not by the publishers themselves, the music. Music companies. Your your whole playthrough will be owned by music companies. Which is kind of interesting, because YouTube and <laughs> music companies have been fucking with one another for the longest time. They've always been uh, one another's, you know, not, I, I guess bitches is the right word, but, you know, YouTube's always been slapped around by them. Uh, I should probably throw a table in here somewhere, but let's just throw... Actually, no. Let me take this, because that's stupid. Let me just throw this festive tree. <sighs> Alright, festive tree in here. Pretty good. <coughs> but yeah. There it goes with that. I guess I'll wait a week, because, um, yeah. I've been disputing them, but, like, it, it's so it's so dumb. It's honestly, it is so dumb. Like, <sighs> because when you dispute them, you can't modernize them and you can't make money off of them, and that's like a hundred views off of it. And in a, in like a grand scheme of things, of mashing them all that together, that's a pretty good chunk of change for me. Better than what I've been making. Definitely not in the hundred dollars range, but not even it was not really close to it. But it's better. And I'm like, I believe I'm like a hundred fifty to two hundred dollars away from uh you know from uh from getting a new computer and possibly actually no i believe it's more than two hundred now since the computer that i want that just went out of uh circulation <laughs> so i'm buying a newer better one you know extra 75 78 dollars and uh definitely i could get at my mom's store so she could get a discount when she buys it when i give her the money to do so so that seems pretty good, uh, but yep, that is about it. <coughs> I should knock off fifty dollars, so you know, extra twenty bucks. Um, but yeah, that is about it, everyone. My name's Luna. As if you already do not know, YouTube is possibly hurting the content creator even more. Definitely for people who you know who use this as like a different kind of means for spend for college or you know their own personal work who make it their own job when you're big enough to do so um it doesn't hurt you that much but when you you know when it starts affecting a lot of playthroughs uh definitely if they're older it's kind of an issue definitely if they start muting videos because they do do that when it comes to the depending on if it's a song or something they'll mute the video they'll replace the audio so your commentary has gone you know and if and it's usually it, it just sucks you know it's always been around but they've changed it they created like this new algorithm or some stupid bullshit and it's affecting a lot of videos and i believe someone someone used the i believe recently someone used their own art and their art's copyrighted so they got a copyright notice for their use of own art of their own art, so they don't know. And definitely, I believe Black Nerd is another guy um, on the YouTube who's like, you know, who's commissioned <coughs> by the, you know, the game companies uh, uh, to to make videos about their games or uh, a series or anything along those lines. So they're commissioned by big people, you know, who want these copyright things noticed. And he's getting copyright notice on the videos that he was personally gave permission. 100% to do, paid for, is his job to do uh, for the internet. And uh, those are getting copyright notices. So that kind of shows you that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And they're just doing it just to do it. So it may be changed, it may not be changed. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, until next time, everyone, my name is Luna. Lutu, loot, loot, tube. Luna Tube. Let's just create Luna Tube. Let's go over so YouTube could fucking blacklist me since I talk about going over to another place, but I'm not big enough to be blacklisted, I guess you could say. Until next time, everyone, my name's Luna. As always, stay frosty, and remember, don't keep... <laughs>